Very often, small things lead to great things. In fact, we could say that everything starts small. From a small idea comes an innovation or discovery that transforms the way we live. A deep snowdrift starts with just a few small flakes, and a small child can soften even the hardest heart and inspire us to change our lives for the better. The glorious season of Christmas is another example of this truth. Every year, in the spirit of rejoicing and good cheer, we deck our halls with magnificent decorations and fill our calendars with joyful celebrations. It's good to be merry, but it's also good to remember that all of this grandeur began quite simply on a night we now call silent. So today we talk of that which is small, quiet, and peaceful. 2,000 years ago, a child was born in a small town, in a small stable, the only place his mother could find to spend the night. The world he entered was full of conflict, in desperate need of peace, not that different actually from today's world. But that night, at least, was small, quiet, and peaceful. And in the silent smallness of his birth lay promised majesty. He grew from child to man, from grace to grace, and brought a message of love and compassion and long-suffering. He responded with love to animosity and hatred. He offered compassion where none was given in return. He was long-suffering in the face of mistreatment and cruelty. In the process, he changed the world forever. As we remember his birth and life, may our celebrations take us back to that which is small, quiet, and peaceful. Perhaps we could simplify our celebrations a little, slow down, and find ways to lift and bless others simply and personally the way Jesus himself did. Perhaps we could take time to quietly ponder, to really listen, to still the noise around us and strive for peace. In a world so large, loud, and unsettled, we can make this season a welcome change, small, quiet, and peaceful. <laughs>